Hey you guys, okay so I went Instagram live testing out these dessert teas and I have to say that I was so disappointed in the quality of that Instagram live. I was like no, it does not do these dessert teas enough justice of what I'm actually trying to do here. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm not gonna taste them again on the camera but I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of the ingredients and how I liked it, okay? I started with the caramel apple flavor because that's what most people were excited about and I can see why because it was really really good it actually did taste like caramel apple like it reminded me of like a spice cider but without the spice if that makes sense but the ingredients in this are apple pieces rose hip hibiscus natural flavor and reb a which is stevia stevia is a natural sweetener like it comes from a leaf but it has a distinct flavor that was apparent in all of these but it wasn't so bad that you couldn't that I wouldn't be able to get past it because these are zero calorie like these are supposed to be an option for dessert if you're trying if you have a sweet tooth but you're trying not to eat the actual form of these desserts and these are good substitutes all of them are good substitutes um, now the strawberry cheesecake was good too. I enjoyed it. It um, had the it smelled like strawberry cheesecake for real, for real. and I think that's because it has real strawberries in it. it. Has apple pieces, hibiscus, natural flavor, rose hip, and the strawberry pieces and stevia. But yeah, the strawberry pieces. And then it's like especially since I don't eat cheesecake and I haven't for a while, this tea gave me that cheesecake feeling um, flavor at least. I would drink it again. And then the peach cobbler was the last. Um, it has the more has the most ingredients than all these other teas. Um, it also has apple pieces, rose hip, natural flavor, orange peels, chicory root, citric acid, rev A, stevia, and peach pieces. So this has real peach in it too. Now um, it was good, but I tried all three of these in separate cups. And then after the video was over, I immediately drank the rest of these. I drank them so fast because they were so good. And I try not to eat sweets, so it was really good. But the peach cobbler, actually, I still have some of the peach cobbler left right here. Um, which I think is nice since I didn't know I was going to have to do this video. So it does look like peach cobbler, but I'm going to say cheers to you guys. If anybody is actually watching this video, you are the MVP. But so am I. We all are. And it, I mean, it's okay, but it's not as good. It does, just doesn't have as many flavor, as much flavor as this. But it smells this. Like, when you open the envelopes, the smell of this really hits you in the face. I thought it was going to, like, be a boom, boom, boom. Oh, 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 peach cobbler flavor. It's not. Oh, and then also, my son, <laughs> he mixed all these teas together and drank it. And I got to try it. And it was good. It was sweet because all the stevia. But it was very flavorful. And it smelled wonderful. So... That's all. That's just a quick rundown of these teas, you guys. Thanks for uh, watching and supporting Easy Life Sources. And stay tuned for information on Club Easy. Yay. Peace.